Hello, and welcome to another haul video. Very interesting week this week. Found some stuff that I thought, oh, all right, that I had been certainly looking for for a long time. Uh, that said, let's get started. Uh, finally found the Matchbox Truck Series. What is this? This is the 35 Ford pickup. Saw this one in the set, and I thought, yep, yeah, okay. Not that I love the vehicle. Uh, I'm like, whatever. But I definitely could see a wheel swap happening with this. Taking those red tires off and uh, putting on something else. But actually, this is pretty well done. Interesting. Next up in the same set, I found the 2008 VE. U-T-E, or pardon me, the 2008 Holden V-E, U-T-V, U-T-E-S-S-V. Try to say that three times fast. Now, I like the livery. I don't like the purple color. But, you know, it's definitely different, and certainly I appreciate something different. You know, they said, I have heard that these cars have been, were sold in Australia. I think they would have found some takers here in the U.S. I think it might still find some takers today here for this car in the U.S. But, anyways, nice card art as well. Next up in the set, the 75 Chevy Stepside Pickup. Number 6 of 12. Hey, I like these Matchbox Chevy Stepside pickups. I must have at least 13 of them, I think, from different decos, different years. Interesting. Good-looking car, though. Or, pardon me, good-looking truck. Let's see. Service, the service center, the garage. Yeah, this is a nice set. Now, this last one that I picked up seems to be the one that everybody's after. The Nissan, or pardon me, the 95 Nissan Hardbody D21. That's a good looking truck. Card art looks great. I guess they all have the same kind of scenery for this set. This is good. I can definitely see a wheel swap happening with this truck as well. Who knows? Maybe even a lift if I ever get that advanced with uh, customizing. We'll see. My customizing is still a work in progress to say the least. But at any rate, the Nissan Hardbody D21. And this week I also found, with some disappointment, but nonetheless, I did find the moving parts. 2018 Land Rover Vogue SE. Hatch opens up in the back. It's a good looking car. This is really nice and clean. Looks great. Your classic Volvo kind of design. Oh, pardon me, not Volvo. Land Rover. Now, what bums me out about this set, eh, we don't have them on the back, but in this set is the Monte Carlo. By the time I got to what was left of this, uh, the Monte Carlo, and I think there was only one per case, and this particular store only got one case. That I know for sure. So the Monte Carlo kind of eluded me, and that's the one I really wanted from this set. But that's why we hunt, guys. Keep going out. You never know. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. However, not to take away from this car, I am not disappointed at all. 2018 Land Rover Vogue SE looks fantastic. Next up, if I can find them, I finally found, and I think many of you will agree with me, this is a hard get. At least it was in my area. The Hello Kitty cool combi. I was able to actually get four of them. But you know, the downside, this is a great little thing. I've got a cool combi collection that dates back to the first edition, so I always try to get the cool combis. This thing looks great. I love the Hello Kitty deco. <laughs> That's fantastic. 
Well done. This particular case, which was, I can't tell, it's an international case, but I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe it was the C case, uh, 2021. It was only two cars in every case that I saw from unboxings. Now, I did not, I never bought a case, so I can't say I had that experience, but every case unboxing that I watched on YouTube were only two of these in every case, so obviously this was a hard get when it was out. Uh, I happened to get lucky. I went by a family dollar, and they were opening two cases and happened to have, it happened to be, I, I believe it was the C case, it happened to have these cars in them, so I was able to grab four of them that day. You never know, guys. You get lucky sometimes when you're hunting. So I can finally cross this one off the list, and uh, my cool combi collection is, remains complete, at least up to date now. Do you guys have a hard time finding those in your area? Leave a comment below. Let me know. I said I'm always interested to see what the distribution is like, and if you've had, if you've had better luck than some other people in some other parts of the country getting certain cars. Then went over to Dollar General. We actually went to three different Dollar Generals and finally found one that had an unopened case with the Dollar General exclusives for 2021. However, I must say it was a little bit strange. The first car I found was something that was in the case that was not yet out. The Moon Shaker, I mean not the Moon Shaker, the Bone Shaker, Moon Eyes Edition. So I was very happy to get that. Always, always happy to add something to my Moon Eyes collection, and this is pretty cool. Looks good. Pretty cool indeed. And now, what was weird about the case is not only did it have stuff from this year, it also had the 49 Volkswagen Beetle pickup from last year's version of Dollar General exclusives and I was like what I think somebody was having fun at the warehouse couldn't believe it but I said always glad to get another pickup I can't remember if I got these or not I'm sure I did but uh, you know I said well I might as well grab them and I did I always thought this was pretty cool I love the gray deco with the uh, uh, probably the gray paint and the yellow moon eyes this is really sharp anyways then in the case, I found two 20 Jeep Gladiators, white edition. I was like, okay, that's cool. You could be two of each, two of each. Moving on. Then I found three of the 67 Camaro Worldwides. I thought, okay, these are sharp. This really looks great. Definitely thinking about a wheel swap with one of these. Let's see. But I will keep you posted on that. This was the disappointment. Only one 98 Honda Prelude. I've seen other people in other cases get a lot more of these. So you never know. Every distribution is a little bit different. But the Dollar General I went to, their case only had one. So that was kind of a bummer. Sorry about the glare. But, always glad to add one to the collection, and I know this is a hard one to get. I've seen this thing selling for pretty big bucks on eBay, which I cannot believe. Well, actually, I shouldn't say I cannot believe. I can believe anything on eBay, but I've seen this selling for some pretty good bucks on eBay. Can't speak for Toy Peddler. I haven't seen it on Toy Peddler yet, but uh, let me know. Are you guys able to find this set? Get two Dollar Generals and are you able to find them? Well, let me know. Very interested, again, to find out how things are in your part of the country or world. Oh, sorry about that. And next, I finally found a complete set of the Fast Wagons. Ah, I like this set. Yeah, this set's fine. But... I do like to get complete sets when I can, and this was an opportunity to get a complete set all at once, which has certainly not been the case up until <laughs> this week. I uh, was very happy to get it. Everybody loves this one. 69 Nissan Skyline Van. This is the hard get. You guys having a hard time finding this in your area, or is this, you finding plenty of these on the pegs? 
I'm personally a big fan of this one, the 17 Audi RS6 Avant. I think this is just fantastic. Hmm. Excellent. Anyway, it's no need to go over the other ones. I am certain that you have all seen them. The 64 Chevy Nova Panel, Volvo P220 Amazon Wagon, and of course, the Volvo 850 Estate. Good looking car as well. And to stay with the Hot Wheels theme, there is one little store I go to, I will not name, but one little store I go to, and every once in a while they actually get premium, uh, the premium sets. But when they get them, they usually get them, like, let's say, they'll get one or two of one premium set and get like 20 of them, 20 of each. And this particular case has been sitting there for three months, and they got these Ghostbuster Ecto-1 cars. I mean, they must have had like 40 of them, just all over the place. And it got to the point where every other week they would go on sale for like half off, and I'd go in and I'd buy like five of them, and they'd go back up to the regular price, then two weeks later they'd go on sale again, and then half off, and I'd go in and buy five more. So I've actually got quite the stash of these, so put these up for trade or sale at some point in the future. I will certainly keep you posted. And at some point, I'm going to actually open one, take a closer look at it on the turntable that I that just arrived. So I'm excited to use that turntable. Maybe take a closer look at this car up close and free from its package. Anyways, Ghostbuster. Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And also this week, while I was at a local Walmart, it was one of those days where they had a bunch of pallets out and apparently it happened early in the morning because I'd gotten there at around 11 and I only had like 45 minutes so I figured okay well let me pop into Walmart and see what they got. I went through it, it went through the toy section, it looked like a tornado had torn through that place. Empty Hot Wheels boxes, matchbox cases, uh, everything, just all over the place. And the staff had really done nothing to clean it up. And I was like, just like kind of stepping over stuff. It was like that. And I was like, I see, my fellow collectors have been here. But then I asked one of the girls that was working there, very nice young lady. And she said, you know, I still think we have one more case left back there. And so she brought out an M2 case. And boy, did I get lucky. Let's guess what was in the M2 case. The 55 Chevrolet Bel Air Gasser, mellow yellow, and the Chase. Though, you never know, guys. Sometimes you get lucky. But just when I thought I had really kind of gotten as lucky as I was possibly going to get, by finding something good in this Walmart that had been completely ransacked shortly after being restocked, and I can't, you know, I really can't blame my fellow collectors. There's this particular Walmart that I had gone to. It's one of those places that very rarely gets new stuff. So when it does, people go crazy and they just buy everything. You know, I can understand that. I certainly have been one of those people and one of those times. Just not this particular week. But what happened was I looked, looked around the store, you know, looked for some other pallets just in case somebody missed something and didn't find anything. And then I went down the action figure aisle, which in most Walmarts is right next to the diecast aisle. And I'm looking around, there's some boxes piled up, and I see this rectangular box. And it's kind of turned over sideways, so you can't really read it unless you get up close to it. So I decided to take a closer look, walked up to it, and I did see Mattel in actually small letters on the side. It was very bizarre. And it said it was like a corner display piece. And I thought, okay, well, what's this? Then I looked a little closer, and then it said Monster Trucks. And it was sealed. Nobody had looked at it. Everybody had completely bypassed this on, you know, they had completely bypassed it during their uh, rummage through the new stuff at Walmart. And so I, of course, took out my trusty keys and cut the box open, reached inside, and, oh, sorry, and I can tell you I was in shock. Let's look what I found. Not one, not two, but three Chase Barbie Corvettes. I thought to myself, wow, 
Wow. And I got to tell you, this shipper must have had, I don't know, maybe 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 to 20 different monster trucks in it. And it didn't seem to be from any particular set. They seemed to be from all over, even some from last year, from new models from last year. And, you know, I just kept digging through it and digging through it. And I was like, oh, there's one. I said, oh, my gosh. Then I looked through it a little further. There's two. Oh, my gosh. And then there was three. And I said, wow, unbelievable. Every collector I know has said, oh, I can't find these Barbie monster vets at all. I don't know where they are. And everybody's digging through these monster truck cases. But I cannot believe that they missed a full shipper and had three of them in them at that local Walmart. This is actually pretty sharp. I think I've got, uh, I may be wrong, I'll have to double check on this, but I think I've got every release from Mattel, that uh, crossover release from Barbie to uh, Hot Wheels. Uh, man, that looks great. A great addition to the, my monster truck collection. Couldn't believe it. You never know, guys. Sometimes you get lucky. This day was my day. Three Barbie monster vets. Unreal. Guys, keep hunting. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like the content, Please like and subscribe. Help the channel grow. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.